against Wolf. It's a bit unorthodox, as you know, you typically might associate DK. It's a bit, it's a bit unorthodox to play DK in any circumstance. Right, but you typically associate DK with just large hitboxes and unfavorable offstage, and you're just so susceptible to being two-framed, which Charlie is yeah, a master but, at. Well, do you want to know what I associate Wolf with? Large hitboxes. <laughs> right. So this will be an interesting one. We'll see how it goes, especially because Wolf also has a bad offstage. So the two characters are surprisingly similar. He does. And Part of the distinction, though, is is that large hitboxes are very bad when, you're, when you have a large body. Right. That F-Tilt second one in a row will finally get through the shield. And Sheena has to be so careful about delaying his recovery just in time to make it get. Goes for the Ding Dong, but not going to find the frame Almost surprising to go off stage, but... When you're facing a wolf of Charlie's caliber, you can't expect him to not be able to recover. Down throw into right. the short hop laser. It's just an excellent way to close stocks out, and that Nair just meeting DK halfway sends him right back to the blast zone. Still, a fair amount of damage on Charlie. Sheena can bring this back. Still, he can't be taking the, all of those hits. He can't be taking all those combos. The problem is, he's DK, he which is. means he's going to be taking those combos. And DK's large hitbox means that that window for down throw dash attack is so large. There it is. The cargo throw and Wolf's just lackluster recovery, even with a jump, just not going to be enough It's so to make funny it going right from a snake to a wolf because snake can come back anywhere, and Wolf can't get back from anywhere. Right, these are two characters from two characters with some of the best recoveries in the game, with two to some of the worst. F-Tilt meets him at center stage. Air dodge is back. Excellent work from Shine. Just not even going uh, Charlie, for the DK Charlie Charlie tried to get him with the forward smash. It was so close to. Still. But good down air to up smash. Suddenly, Shine is the one up. He is. Shine. I guess that's life when you're DK. Suddenly, you're, you can kill at 80, and then that makes everything much better. But two frames in with the F-Tilt. Charlie already out of that second stock. Back and to zero. Very exciting. Yeah, Shine will be going forward. DK Copter will be sending him back to that side, that right side where he's just been trapped for the past 15 or so seconds. See, Shine, if he wants to be doing well, he's got to figure out a way to escape from all these combos. Or, so I would say, if I hadn't seen him kill at 80 in that last stock. So, real talk, this is anyone's game right here. But it sure ain't looking that great for Sheena. But now Charlie is getting these fair strings going and even capitalizing with an up air to finish it off. Oh, but Goes he for the ding dong off the top. Sheena called this it. smash four because Sheena got that ding dong off the top. It's a very narrow percent window, but it does work in this game if you manage to catch your opponent off of a top platform or off of a side platform like we just saw on PS2, it can work, and it does work here. Since when does Smash 4 have Wolf in it? That's what I gotta say. Since when does Smash 4 have Wolf in it? That's that new DLC. Don't, talk about, don't talk about Smash 4 DLC here. Well, we got that. We got what looks like the sneak peek. <laughs> I mean, there's... Okay. okay, there's the change, which... Wait, didn't Shine? Oh, right, Shine. He's changing sometimes for no reason. Right, okay, so he's going Lucas. Wait, Shine is a, you know, quote unquote Lucas main. It's his most used character. It's not a character that he uses a majority of the time by any means. I got knocked out of bracket in this very matchup. This is an awkward matchup for Wolf because so many of Lucas's hitboxes, it can just be such a difficult time for Wolf to recover if he's already burned his jump or air dodge. That's true, but. Goes for the shine read, though. And as, you, off as, as you can see, when Wolf starts hitting you, he starts hitting you. And at the end of the day, there's only so much that Lucas can do about that. And a lot of Lucas's best tools are things like uh, his side B, right? And Wolf can reflect those. He can indeed. Now, Shine is just going to go for a couple of Zare strings. That was some great neutral right there. A lot of, lot of fast moving. A lot of good spacing. Good timing with the F-Tilt, though. Shine it just made to pay for it. Did not delay it quite enough. Yeah, he was on the ledge against Wolf, and that's a bad place to be. What? What? But Charlie oh, just went too oh, low. Oh, oh, he was too aggressive, too at it, and he wasn't keeping track of where he was, and he... SDs as a result. Yeah, Suddenly, this is Shine's game to lose. Magnets away. One of the lasers goes for that approaching bear, and that two frame, not on quite two frame, but calls out the normal yeah, get up with the down, down smash. 
When you are on the ledge against Wolf, you are in for a bad time. Because he has such great tools. His Nair, his down smash, his uh, forward touch. And that one is a two frame. The down smash meets him Kills out. Kills him again. You're on the ledge. Wolf, he's just a kid. Slash, you're gone. It reaches so far below the stage where even, you know, even those claws, which are already visual disjoints, don't even begin to illustrate how far it reaches down. We were still talking about the last edge trap, and then he gets another one. Now we're going to be going back to the DK. Shine, the character with which he took game one. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, which is why he shouldn't have tried to fix it. <laughs> Perhaps not, but onto Battlefield for game three. And I typically don't say that Wolf has a bad stage, but this can be one of his worst, especially in the DK matchup. You know, I'm not necessarily sure about if that's true, because one of Wolf's problems is oh, that he Oh, but gets the sucks. fair dare, and it sends Shine too low. That's a quick stock within you 15 know, seconds. You know, I was trying to make a point about Wolf, and Charlie, you just had to go out there and completely eviscerate him, okay? Again, that's a relatively narrow percent window, but when you manage to get it and when you see it in your sight, yeah, the I'm DI is correct. This counter this because the, the all these platforms are just becoming used so Charlie can get ridiculous string after string and so much damage so fast. Up throw off the platform. The ding dong not quite enough percent, but almost gets him with the smash four. Very narrowly avoiding death there. Fair through the platform. An up air and an up smash both reach through the platform from Charlie, so they can be difficult. <laughs> He, he, did he just spot dodge three times in a row and get punished for it? Yeah, we saw four consecutive spot dodges from That Charlie. was cheese. It was. Missed times, the two frame with the down tilt, but nevertheless, he maintains stage control, and with the help of that parry, has DK off stage again. He tried to threaten him, but DK did actually manage to get back from that. Still, there's so much damage going on to this DK. Marshall just put him all these juggle attempts. Yeah, and Shine misses the tech. That may have been untechable, in fact. And now already down three stocks to one in a terrible situation. Yeah, see, he, get, he, he gets one and the string begins. This is what I was talking about, right? He got that platform extension there, and suddenly DK takes 80, 80 damage. Yeah, from zero, and DK is one of the characters for whom and good tech chase with a down smash already up. That was a three stock, okay? It that was. was that was disgusting. It shouldn't be legal. DK is one of the characters with whom with such a large hitbox and such a heavy character, down throw dash attack is true at zero percent. Typically you have to wait until about five, six percent on lighter characters, but yeah, it's so true from the get go. I'm not great at this game, but I'm pretty sure that Battlefield was not the way. Because DK is combo food for days, and what we saw there was Charlie having a feast. He was just going to town. Hit, hit, hit. She and I couldn't breathe. And just goes for the Pokemon trainer to start off game four. The third different character of the set, Shine, known for cycling through the roster, and we're seeing it again here. You know, this isn't that bad. Uh, Squirtle has a lot of, uh, like, in fact, sometimes with some matchups you want to use uh, one Pokemon more than any of the others, but really all of the Pokemon have strong usage in this matchup. Correct, but in this particular matchup, Squirtle is an absolute nuisance for Wolf to deal with. Think pre-patch Pichu with this one. Just the small hitboxes makes a nightmare with spacing fairs. Yeah, but that's only for the first few percents, right? We saw Shine switch here, and the reason why is because Wolf does so much damage and his hitbox is so large that the, the he was already at the point where uh, his Wolf's ridiculous down smash, but it probably started to kill, right? So this is going a lot better. Gets him with one dare and two in a row. Charlie's just going to be dipping too low, and Shine with consecutive dares, sending Charlie to that bottom blast zone. Ivysaur is a fantastic edge guarder, and Wolf is edge guard food. Throw into the back air, but that flash going to be protecting him. Shine wasn't ready, but Charlie wasn't ready he for that back air. He got hit by the puppet right there. The low percent, the low percent um, uh, back air. But mean, However, he couldn't get back to stage. Meanwhile, so. Charlie will call out Shine's uh, flare blitz with the F tilt. It's something that you have to absolutely time correctly because if you're stationed at the ledge, it does hit you. But good timing Still, for Charlie. Still, those two first early stocks leave Charlie in a not great position. He wants to, to down tilt. prevent a game five. Into dash attack. Just 
calls out the normal getup with the F Smash Charlie flying through this game. He was on the edge against Wolf. It keeps on happening. This time it was the uh, it was the forward smash, but you know with Wolf it could be anything. Down throw dash attack again. Just this low it's percent. Nice spot dodges from Charlie. The the three in a row was a bit much, but since then the spot dodges have, have actually been doing wonders. Yeah, Wolf in general is a low percent magician, but. Charlie makes this character look almost impeccable for the first 50% of any given stock. Yeah, a lot of damage coming out. Shine was trying to catch him on the ledge. Oh, there's the back air. The Puppe almost gets him again. But Charizard of late has been showing a lot more uh, effectiveness in bracket. And now he just missed the ledge with the up special, and Charlie will punish him you know, with Charizard, that down smash. You know, Charizard, I was trying to compliment you, and you had to go. And you had to miss the ledge. Give the set to Charlie. Thanks, Charizard. But now this is going to be a bit of a predicament I for Charlie. I love you, Char Charizard. Okay. Well, this <laughs> is going to be a bit of a predicament for Charlie. Facing against Vladin in Losers Finals, Lucina is just so often cited as one of Wolf's worst matchups, along with Shulk, along with a lot of other sorted characters. When you're Wolf, your strongest point is the fact that when you throw out a hit, it will 